Hey there everybody, good morning. It is time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Today we're going to talk about what your passion is. Well, I mean, not what it is, but what it is. Well, just stick around, you'll see. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to 7 Minutes in the Morning. As Joe says, good morning, America, and all points beyond uh, those boundaries. And uh, also, hey, check it out. Good morning, Catherine, Gail. When you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, leave a comment. Say hi. Let me know. You know, I started this on the radio show yesterday. I want to continue this here. Say hi so I know who you are. And let me know where you're from. Some of you I know. Most of you I know. But, you know, when you have new people join, it'd be nice to know where you're watching from. And if you happen to be listening on your favorite podcast catcher or watching somewhere else like YouTube or whatever, then uh, at some point, you need to come over to 7minutesinthemorning.com. That'll get you into the right Facebook page where you can leave a comment and join in here with the rest of us. So this has been kind of a um, been an interesting week. So I had the whole week planned out, and then nothing has worked the way that it planned, at least as, as far as this content goes. Kind of, sort of. <coughs> Southern Point of Marshall County. All right. Kind of, sort of, we've been talking about passion this week. And um, on Tuesday nights, I have an opportunity to talk with a good friend of mine. And last night we were talking, and there's still a bunch of stuff on the whiteboard that we drew out. But one of the things that came out right at the very end has made it into uh, his Instagram feed this morning. Actually, last night. I'm going to see. Yeah, I can do that. So I'm going to grab uh, his Instagram address. Put that, uh, drop that in the comments. You can go check it out. Jesse Mogul, good fellow to watch and uh, kind of keep up with what's going on there. But uh, what we were talking about was aspirations and passions. Now, sometimes we get them confused. We've gotten this idea, but ever since, you know, follow your passion has become this, you know, kind of thing you're supposed to do. Um, we've, we've mistaken it for something we really, really like to do. It, it's an activity. We've mistaken it. We, we think it's an activity, but it's not. An activity are the things that you do. A passion is something you feel. It's an emotion. Right? So when we say we're following our passion, what? In, in, and I asked this question over the weekend, you know, what are you passionate about? And got a bunch of answers back. And they were all either things or activities. Now, those things and activities can lead to that emotion, but what if that thing or activity is removed? So what we were talking about, uh, what Jesse and I were talking about last night, I will put this quote up here because it just kind of came up. I've learned to write some of these things down. Those of you that know me know that I say things and I don't remember them after I say them. But uh, he actually wrote this one down for me. Don't change your aspirations to fit your life. Change your life to fit your aspirations. See, if, if that thing that you're passionate about, let's say, I don't know, just for the sake of argument, you're, you feel like you're passionate about Alabama football, what happens when they stop winning? Now, some people remain passionate about that. Let's say I'm, there's a great commercial on one of those uh, progressive insurance commercials. You know, she's talking to her sister and passionate about it. cycling is my passion. I mean, it, 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 it's kind of... Um, farcical about how things have become passions, right? So here's what we should pursue. This is how we, should, how I want you to think about it, how we should begin looking at it. I'm going to move that because that's distracting me. I'll put it back in just a minute. 
when you're thinking about your passion, the passion you want to pursue, it's an emotion, right? What is the emotion that you want to trigger and what is the thing or activity independent of? It's almost like a macro, right? Yeah, you can be passionate about, let's say, Alabama football or college football. You can be passionate about um, painting rocks or creating funny, whimsical art. Right? I mean, there's there's a difference there, right? And what I want you to think about as we as you kind of go through the day to day is. You know, have you assigned passion to something that's not sustainable? That's it. That's all. Have you assigned, <coughs> have you assigned this idea of passion to something that's not sustainable? Right? For me, you know, I really enjoy helping people create strategies to achieve the, the outcomes that they want. And there's hopefully a never-ending supply of people that have that need. All right, let's see what you said there, Catherine. Activities can be a piece of a passion, or they can be an element of joy, but they are not our purposeful design. I agree with that. So we've, we've said here many times before, we're each uniquely gifted, talented, place to do something, to do a work that matters, right? Those are our, those things. See, all of these things kind of flow together. This is kind of the great, great thing about what we're doing here. When you work in your gifts, you leverage your talents. Those are the things that you're, you're uniquely created to be able to do. Do you think they're going to be fulfilling for you? Yes. You, you would not have these gifts and talents if they were going to lead to misery. Oh, so find those gifts, find the talents, find the, the method, the activity, as Catherine says, to leverage those, to, to utilize those to the benefit of others. And now you found your passion. And remember yesterday we were talking about passion. My passion, when we say I want to follow my passion because I'm passionate about, that's a selfish thing. But the interesting thing about it here is that I believe that your passion is, is also a gift that helps you, that motivates you to leverage your talent and gifts to help others. Think about that for just a minute. See if that doesn't blow your mind. Fundamentally, most people want to help others. I agree with that. Helping others is not the passion. It is an igniter of the passion. Probably. I, I think I agree with that. I'm going to say that, like for me, in the example I just used for me, right? Helping people design strategies to achieve the results they want. I'm, it's not the designing strategy. That's, that's my gift or talent. We'll call that my gift, my talent being, you know, continually motivating to get it done. But seeing them achieve the result, seeing them achieve the outcome, that's what I, I mean, that brings me as much joy as it does them. I don't know, just a thought. All right, so when we're thinking about what our passion is, right? Think about your gifts. What are your gifts? What are you talented at? What are your values? How do all those things come together to help you manifest something in other people's lives? Think about that today if you find a great answer for that. I would love to hear it. Send me a message right here on this page, Tom Rigsby Coaching, or you can send me an email, tom at tomrigsby.com. Today is Wednesday, and there is no coffee shop show today. There is a scheduling conflict with me and my co-host. Actually, it's my co-host's fault today. I'll go ahead and throw him under the bus since I've been under the bus a lot over the last month. But that's okay. We'll be back on again next week. I'll be back here again in the morning with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. You guys have a great Wednesday. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hey, 
and look. Oh no. Just stay through the outro and then I'll tell you.